Hey folks, that fix it guy here. And I got a project coming up. Something on my wife's car needs to be fixed today because she's actually gonna have to drive it. She's got a 2012 Toyota Highlander that actually a mouse got into apparently and chewed some wiring. I'm doing a video on that as well. But first, before I do that, I wanna do a video on this, okay? Because this is a battery powered soldering iron and I've never used this. So I wanna do a couple of test runs with it first, right? I want to wire some, I want to solder up some wire and put a connector on, make sure everything's going to be good before I actually go out and do it in my car because I don't want to jack that up. So come along, let's get to fixing. All right, well, guess what? I never actually uh, shot the video taking this out of the package because yeah, I'm just getting back to it. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it is what it is at this point. All right. We pop this out. We put some batteries in it. This is a little bit hard. Actually, the first time you do it after that, it seems pretty easy, especially with batteries in it. It's got these two little indicators right here. Just make sure you put the battery level back on. One thing I will tell you is I didn't make sure this was off before I put the batteries in. And once I click this on, this started heating up. And it heats up pretty fast. This right here comes off. It's just like an old school VCR jack. It's an RCA jack, right? Remember how you used to plug the VCR in? Like that's what that is. And it just clips on. Now, I'm not an aficionado with this stuff. I don't solder this way. I'm a plumber. I solder with copper, right? And I mean, this wire is copper, but it's a whole different level of soldering when you're soldering pipes versus soldering wires and little circuit boards and stuff. So I know this is a cheap option, but it actually, I think is gonna work out really well for us. Um, there's not much that comes in this pack, just the batteries, this little setup, the case right here to keep it covered. And then actually this little bad boy right here. Get off of there. Stupid tape. This right here just helps you to allow you to take a hot tip off if you needed to. Try not to shoot it across the room. And there we have it. Okay. Very simple. Doesn't come with a lot of stuff. So we're going to try this out. Okay. So for our test, I actually just pulled a piece off of this old pigtail, a piece of the ground wire. We're gonna chop this in half, we're gonna strip it, and then we're going to set it up and we're gonna give it a shot, all right? Oh man, these, these clippers have seen their day, dude. Pretty sure they're done at this point. I mean, look at the jaws on these things. I think I need to really be done and invest in something else which I think I will. Um, okay, boom. We got one little section off. Got most of another little section off. Maybe that's what I need to ask for for Christmas is a new pair of wire strippers. All right, one's a little bit bigger than the other, but it'll totally be fine. And so two things we're gonna do with this on this project that I'm working on is one, we're gonna solder it, and then two, we're gonna shrink wrap it. I've actually never shrink wrapped anything either, but I picked these up at the store too, heat shrink, and you know, I consulted my brother-in-law and he's like, oh yeah, dude, just solder it up a little bit and put this on and was telling about some other cool little things that he bought that I might end up buying some, but I don't think they sell them in the US. Um, I think he found them online. So we'll, we'll maybe get into that, but let's back up here a little bit because we're gonna use our vise for one side. And then I actually just rigged up a piece of 
heavier gauge copper for another side. And this is gonna hold one side of my wire like so. And then that's gonna hold the other side of my wire and hopefully this works out. There's like a little V-shaped slot down here. So I'm assuming that would work pretty well for this wire without crimping it. Okay, so we've got some wire set up here. And I think we, if we just take this and kind of push it together like that. And then just twist it up. Get it to where it's in there and hooked up together. Now we're gonna crank this bad boy up. Just turn it on and we're gonna see. See what we got rocking. We're gonna give this about 30 seconds or so to heat up. We want it to heat up to, I don't know, at least 350, it goes up to 400. Uh, you can see it's already kind of starting to smoke a little bit. So this just would not heat up to what I needed it to heat up. That is a bummer. Okay, so part one, fail. This thing, not so grand. It's not always sunshine and rainbows, right? There's a lot of fail that goes on <laughs> with a lot of this stuff. I really hope you guys are enjoying the channel. Please subscribe, click the like button. We'll be back. We're going to get this fixed today. Thank you very much, and we'll see you again real soon.